kind of girl who gives up just like that. We're back in this shirt, so you know what that means. Hey everybody, um, today I think I'm gonna dye my hair pink. Let's just cut to the chase. I've dyed my hair pink twice before. The reason I haven't done it in like the past six months, past eight months, nine months, is because I've been doing like acting stuff and like acting auditions and modeling stuff for self tapes. I didn't want to be like having pink hair. I don't know if that makes sense, but whatever. I do have to fix my hair. If you saw my last video, dyeing my hair, it was a catastrophe. You know that. It's just looking a little yellowy. The low lights are like fading and we still do have the problem of just like bad like ugliness going on. And because we're going into fall soon, I'm probably gonna do some more low lights and like bring kind of my natural-ish hair color back down a little bit. But I kind of want to stay light for summer and I don't really want to do that darkness yet. I also don't want to go to the store and like buy the products and like do my hair intensely. Like doing it pink is just so much easier. And YOLO, why not? Screw it. Let's do it. There is a little piece in here that I did a test strand on just to be like, do I want to do this? Like, I don't know. I don't know if I want to do it, but I think I might just do it. I have some root beer. I definitely have a cavity on the side of my mouth possibly, so maybe I shouldn't be drinking root beer, but like... I don't care. Um, let me show you the products I'm using. This... Cheapo conditioner. So here we are. Delicious. Screw it. Let's just do it. Screw it and do it! Why do I always say that? Tell me I can do it. Bruno, you can do it. Is this a good idea? Or am I just bored? Are you ready? I'm nervy. Ready? Go! Doing color hair dye is so much more fun than freaking bleaching and low lighting and highlighting and the chaos that ensues with that. Is anyone out there else watching Love Island season 7? Because oh my gosh, it just got so intense. I'm on, I just finished episode 28 because I watch on Hulu because it's like the UK. I, like I'm not daily up to date, but I'm like as close as I can be basically. Like I'm just gonna explain some background so like if you don't watch the show you can like know what's happening because oh my god. Basically three new islanders came in and Toby who was like first coupled up with Kaz and they were like you know flirting and everything but then he was like I don't like it's like not really moving forward like he was kind of started to get like uninterested I guess or whatever. Then he, that night, after like telling her what was like how he was feeling or whatever, kind of, he went and kissed Chloe. And that then was coupled up with Chloe for a little bit. And so then this new Islander comes in and she's like, I'm interested in you to like Toby. He's kind of like interested in getting to know her. It's been like one night that she's been there, but he's like, you know, kind of interested in getting to know her. And Chloe's like, you know, kind of mad about that because she's like, I'm not, she doesn't want to sit by and like watch him get to know someone else. So then there's a recoupling and Toby chooses the new girl, okay? And so then the second new girl who's like a super sweet blonde who told Hugo was like right away when the first night like, like Hugo's my type is basically what she said like to the whole group and to Hugo and everyone was like, oh my god, Hugo, because Hugo, he hasn't found anyone yet. Like he's like, Kind of had things with people, but then he's like, yeah, I actually... He's like, yeah, I actually like, don't like them. Like, there's no spark, basically, which is, like, fine. The recoupling happens. Hugo's turn to choose a girl to couple up with. Being like, I'm coupling up with this girl because the way she's been treated in the last 24 hours is horrible. And, you know, all these, like, people keep saying stuff about testing someone in the villa and that's stupid and blah, blah, blah. Like, adding Toby. And then he chooses Chloe over this super sweet new girl who like, you know, was interested in Hugo. While that was happening, I was like, I was full on expecting Chloe to go home. It's not that I don't like Chloe. Like she's not like my favorite person in the villain. And so I was just like, she's probably gonna go home. That sucks. I hate that that stuff with Toby happened because it's the second time it's happening. And it's like, there's a little bit of a pattern forming with, I feel so bad for the other new girl who came in. Cause she looks so, like she's so sweet seeming. 
and she got to be there for like two days. I liked Hugo in the beginning because I was like, he looks so, like he seems so sweet and like, oh, you know, he's a sweet guy, but everyone's like, I don't want a sweet guy, but then he does stuff like this and I'm like, okay. And now there's gonna be drama and it's just so intense. Anyway, no one really cares. Oh, let's talk about the fact that I'm dyeing my hair pink. Forgot about that for a second. Sad that I haven't been posting as much as I wish I was. So I'm really trying to work on like a morning routine, you know, for days that I have like work work so that I can actually film and like get stuff done. Because what the problem is, is usually like in life, before I had a job, after 12 p.m. is when I would like do any filming or editing or like whatever I need, you know what I'm saying? And so now that I have a job, I mostly work in like nighttime afternoon like I never have morning work I never have to like film in the morning and so now that like it's my only time when I have work to film it's just like I haven't been doing it and like I just have not been on top of my game and I'm really mad about it because I'm mad at myself because I really like making videos and I like putting things out there that like I'm proud of and I just have not been proud of anything I've put out recently or anything I've filmed and it makes me sad. I mean this video is going out which makes me happy. Um, and I'm really gonna be trying to just do better at filming, like working on days when I already have work, just grinding it out because no time like the present baby, only have one life. I'm gonna leave this on for like maybe 30 minutes. I defo think I did my hair a little too dark pink. How? I don't know. I don't know how that happened. It's gonna be fine. Okay, wait, it might be fine. Once it dries, it'll be a little lighter. This right here. Shea moisture. <sighs> this big bad boy. And it has been a lifesaver. So I always put that in. After I wash my hair, my hair is dry. So this is what it looks like. Ooh, sneak peek. Maybe I shouldn't show you. I'm gonna try doing heat rollers. This is why I don't do heat rollers. Because they don't work. Okay, like this part kinda looks good, but like this over here, it just doesn't. And I can't even do this, like I couldn't even do this section because I didn't have enough. But I'm gonna quickly do it so I at least have like some normalcy throughout my entire head. Honestly, it might work. Even, like now that it's chilled out a bit I love my hair my hair is so cute why do I ever question doing this I honestly might keep it for a while call me crazy but I just like it so much we'll see how I feel once it starts fading but like it just always looks so good like I don't know why I ever like question doing this 